in the mirror Man, you so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, what I'm going to talk about today Is the fact that women have backup plans in relationships this applies to married women as well okay they have what they call escape plans and what is so unfortunate is that you have gentlemen who get into these marriages believing that they're going to work hoping that they will work all the while their partners are already scheming and conniving at the beginning or the duration or at the end well pretty much the duration of the marriage already saving money put it into secret accounts to leave you okay already entering into relationships already expecting them to fail i don't know why but we're gonna play these clips i'm gonna give you my commentary pretty soon one second as i put up on the screen give me a moment sir and ma'am yeah this is insane man but we gotta play this Am I the asshole for not giving my husband my escape money when I saw that we were financially struggling? I, 34 female, have recently ran into a situation with my husband, 37 male, and I'm curious about if I'm the asshole here or not. So me and my husband have been together for eight years, married for seven. When I got married, my mother came to me privately and talked about setting aside money as a rainy day slash escape fund. See, the mother, okay, before the escape plan was hatched, before there was money set aside, in case she had to leave her husband, she wouldn't even think like that. This is what happens when you allow other people into your relationship, ladies. Single women or women who are toxic by nature, women who are already conniving. You do not allow other women to come into your relationship and take over the steering wheel and drive it. You don't let women come in and dictate to you the direction. See, this is why when you're married, gentlemen, you have to choose women who are not easily influenced by other women. And women must cut people off. You enter into a whole different realm of relationship when you say, I do. You have to cut people off. And they if they don't have that ability to cut people off, who may be a detriment to your relationship before an engagement, before a marriage, then they're going to keep being that way. If you are the type of woman who lets everyone else influence you, you try to keep up with the Jones your relationship is not going to work, okay? Let's keep going, because the first question this woman had was, am I the asshole for being this way? And the story is going to get worse. Let's keep going. If worse came to worse, my husband has never showed any signs of being dangerous and rarely even gets upset. But the way my mom talked about it, it seemed like a no-brainer to have. When me and my husband got together, we agreed I would be a stay-at-home wife. We are both child-free, so that was never a concern. My husband made a comfortable mid-six-figure salary, all was good, until about two years ago. He was injured at work in a near-fatal accident. Between hospital bills and a lawsuit that we lost, that ate up nearly all of our savings. I took a part-time job while my husband was recovering, but when he fully recovered, we transitioned back into me being unemployed, as my husband insisted that it was his role to provide. Now, what I want to point out on this part, this gentleman was making six figures annually. You know how women say you want to make six figures? He got injured on a job. She went out and got a job while he was recovering. And as soon, as soon as he recovered, he said, baby, I want you to go ahead and uh, don't work no more. Let me go back to what I need to do because I'm the man and I'm supposed to provide. He, he was the, he's the type of man that all these women say that they want, Okay. And she's already conniving, stealing money for a backup plan. This is the what most women will say, the ideal man. She had one, and you see how she treated him. Let's keep going. He is currently working two full-time jobs and Ubers on his days off to keep us afloat. Here's where I might be the asshole. I do all the expense managing, and I've continued to put money into my escape account, although I significantly decreased from $750 a month to $200 a month. My husband came home exhausted one night and asked about downsizing because of all the stress of work was going to kill him. I told him downsizing would not be an option, as I had spent years making our house a home. Now listen to this now. This man working two jobs and Uber on the side. Whenever he gets available time, he is still working, okay? She is managing 
the budget expense of the house. He's about to fall out from stress, about to fall out from working his fingers to the bone, okay? And she complained. She said, no, don't you do it. Now, remember, she's not working at all. She's laying around doing, I guess, womanly things, whatever, but she doesn't want him to stop working, even though he's expressing that he's about to fall out. She said, no, don't do that because I'm taking care of this house. The house that he bought, everything in it, he paying for damn there, and she's not even empathetic enough to be fem feminine enough to understand where he's coming from. Let's keep going. And offered to go back to work. He tried to be nice, but basically told me that me going back to work wouldn't make enough. After an argument, my husband went through our finances to see where we could cut back. He was confused when he saw I had regular reoccurring withdrawals leading back years and asked me about it. I broke down and revealed my money to him, which now sits at $47,000. $47,000. That is the amount of money that she's been stealing from him because he's the only source of income. She's been stealing that much money. He never knew about it, which is also his fault. He should have been on top of his finances, okay? There's no, there's no excuse for that. But I want you to understand, she was not thinking like this until her mother, the mother-in-law. You got to understand, sometimes women, your mothers are not happy with the fact that you are happy. There are women who are jealous of their own daughters. There are women who want to see their daughters fail in the same ways that they have failed. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the mother-in-law planted this seed of division in the gullible mind of the daughter, and she acted upon it. Can you imagine the hurt that this gentleman felt? Can you imagine the betrayal that this gentleman felt? Because he was given his all. Again, this is the ideal men that many women say that they want. See, it doesn't pay. Modern women are a waste of time. They are a waste of time. Unless you vet them properly, you have to vet women properly. I suggest the passport thing, which is always an option. But there are still women in America who are not like this. Because some of these women that you're flying to um, get overseas, they're over here. And some of them do not honor the westernized way of thinking. I've met some of them where they are in America but they don't have too many American friends because of the American behavior. But they're good people. They're very civil and respectful. And they will date people from different cultures. They will date people who are Americans. But some of them have horror stories. I'm talking about women. Some of the women have horror stories when it comes to dating American men. And I met some men that may be not, uh, not Nigerian, African, something like that, who also have dated women who are American and have had horrible horror stories so they choose to date within their community and just use american women for recreational purposes so on and so forth but there are women in different cultures well, i'm in houston i think it's the third or fourth largest city there are women here who are looking and are willing to date american men and treat them with the traditional mindset that american men are looking for so i got to put that out there i can't say that every woman here in america ain't worth it i'm doing i'm going to say the majority of them are not worth your time and effort and there is a very small very small percentage very very minute few of black american women who are not from a different culture but not american who are good women because they were raised by both parents they actually took the time to instill value systems in them but they're harder to find let's keep going after I told him all of this, he just broke down sobbing. His point of view is I treated him like a predator and hid money from him for years, even when he was at his lowest. I told him that the money was a precaution I would have taken with any partner and not specific to him. That's a lot, because when she first said it, she said her mother told her to be prepared in case she had a problem with this man, her husband. He left the house to stay with his brother and said I hurt him on every possible level. But my mom says this is exactly what the money is for and I should bail now. Am I the asshole? Yes, you are. Now, her mother said this is the right time to leave. After the woman had broke the man's heart and went to stay with his brother, he was trying to recover and understand why someone he loved so deeply would do that to him. That's what it was. And then the mother didn't say what I just said. The mother said, okay, girl, it's time to go ahead and leave now. This is what the money for. Bail now. You know why? Because mama wants some of that damn money. Mama want to go out with you, drink a few mimosas with you, go to brunch with you and stuff. How is it 
your mother loves you when she celebrates the end of something of such as a uh, marriage, a good marriage. She was in a good marriage. She was not in a bad marriage. She was in a good marriage. This may be a live stream today. I, I couldn't decide what to talk about. But this may be my live stream today. This subject right here. Because this is some bullshit. At 5.30 Central Standard Time. 5.30 Central Standard Time. Now let me put up some um facts on the screen for you. Talking about how women have backup plans. Or backup men. Or escape plans. Either way, it's a conniving, no good for nothing, musty back helper. Okay? Let me put it on the screen. One second. Read this off to you. Make sure it's on there. Okay. Now, according to Times of India, this is going all over the place, all over the world now. 50% of women in relationship have a backup partner. Here's what you need to know. December 2nd of 2023. What you need to know is they some conniving assholes. Let's go to the next one. There's a chart. On this chart, it says, who ended the relationship? And the question was, have you ever been the one who ended a, rom a romantic relationship or had a partner in a romantic relationship with you? Percentage of people who have had a long-term relationship. Now, if you look down on the chart, the dark green and the light green. The dark green is yes. The light green is no. At the first one over here, by the little camera thing by YouGov, it says, been the one who ended it. Meaning, were you the person who ended the long-term relationship? It says on the men's side, 62% of men ended the relationship first. The light green says 33% of the men did not. Okay. On the other side where it says women, same side, different one, it says women. It says 76% of women were the ones who ended it. 17% of women was not the one who ended the relationship. Now let's go to the other side of the screen, okay? And the question is, or have you ever had a partner end it with you? On the men, it says 84% didn't and 12% did. For the women, 67% did and 30% didn't. In other words, women in long-term relationships or greater than men do because they have backup plans they have they're not happy they bored and all this other shit they want to claim about but they have backup plans they have escape plans now according to this right here it said according to a market research company onepoll.com a new study shows that over 50 percent of women in committed relationships have a backup plan in place in case the current one does not work out so they enter into relationships already expecting them to fail most time now according to medium.com it says 50 percent of married women have a backup lover a backup lover now make no mistake gentlemen majority of the time these women are still in contact with these people they keep it where they always can have accessibility to them just in case it doesn't work out with you okay this is cheating this is still cheating even if she's not sleeping with him or anything, she's still cheating with him. You get what I'm saying? So, I just want to provide this information. This might be the um, live stream I'm talking about today at 5.15 Central Standard. I'm sorry, not 5.15. I moved the time up now to 5.30 Central Standard Time. Again, 5.30 Central Standard Time. Check me out then. I'll see you later on this evening. I'll see you later.